Hello and welcome to Dells Gaming and this is from the depths in the campaign and we're at the uh, fortress, the main fortress where with the docks are working on the new dreadnought but it's going to take a while to build up plus also we haven't got enough resources basically so we need to do a collection run before this gets built just to get all the resources together from basically bring them in from the onyx watch so what i have brought in play is um the airships if we get up to the right area over here we've got the shocker and two devastators and i'm going to put them in with the first area air fleet so we've got an aerial combat and we're going to work up this um, eastern flank the right side just to basically to gather a lot of resources I'll bring a resource clipper along as well to gather all the resources and take it back to the base I'm going to use aircraft because if we take into these center sections because of all of this land basically ships are going to be no good so we're going up there we're using the um, uh, airships and the aircraft and then the Grand Fleet will basically defend these center sections and I think we'll just take over those two as well and take over um, that should give us enough then resources I think to complete the ship so we'll see how that all uh, works out we have got a little, tag ages, a little attack and Alcazar heading towards our base I think actually they're heading yep yeah, we're heading down there but they'll get in intercepted and I have put our wolf pack, although it's got some, we know it's got limitations. Um, it is available for use. Just as a note, I did take some of some of the um, suggestions in uh, the comments area. I'm going to work on something on the wolf pack. Someone came up with a good idea of uh, upward firing um, guns that could be interesting, but also. I made some changes to the main fleet and also the Dreadnought um, regarding some of the guns with secondaries firing smoke to to uh, obscure the LAM system of Eries and Alcazar. So we'll see how that works if we get a chance. Initially though we're going to go in with the Shocker and the First Arm Fleet because we haven't seen those in combat since we made them so it'll be interesting to see actually how they perform. So, let me just sort out the um, forces and then we will be away and flying.
Well, I just had to pull out the um, airship fleet because they just got handed themselves by the Erie. They were doing a reasonably against the ships, but the AI just was, again, I was having to take manual control. They were going broadside when these ships are supposed to go straight on, and my normal ships won't go broadside and just go... Sh oh. Anyway, um... Yeah, they just would not hold target and uh, we're having a problem in the Erie, which works perfectly okay. Um, I'll have to have a look at this AI. Uh, just basically devastated the, uh, the troops. So um, I had to pull them back. So now we've got... They are damaged, the remainders of that uh, group. So there is a chance of taking them out but they've got ships left and I've only got bombers which are not good against airships so I think I'm gonna have to basically pull out and bring in my main fleet but the ground fleet is supposed to be defending here that's fairly slow so I think I can bring in the ground fleet here to uh, take out these these fleets and let's see if we can save the other ships where possible. Now I might be able to take out that with the aircraft. So what I'm going to do is go with the furnace with my aircraft. In that time hopefully we will be able to get because uh, the aircraft to get the halberd, hourglass, glaives will just get chopped up. So that's n not going to be good against that. But they will be able to take out that furnace. So let's see if we can do something about Moving. that at least. Um, Moving out. And I'm going to have to save them because I'm possibly going to lose the uh, de all these devastators. That could be annoying okay I'm going to see what I can do with this against the furnace first and then we'll we'll try to save those troops afterwards so if we put everything in against the furnace and also give our troops here a chance to get away so to speak
Well that gave them as a bit of a surprise when uh, uh, the uh, airships were spawned right in front of the enemy fleet but they managed to act as basically targets so the bombers could actually get in there and destroy the ships in the end so it worked okay in the long run the glaive was a problem but uh, managed to get around it and uh, you know took a lot of damage but we managed to get through now I've got everything pulling back and repairing generally and I'm gonna bring in the Grand Fleet uh, which is the main fleet that is heading into this zone now and we'll go for the Erie and the other ships that are there the Alcazar and see if we can take them out and then the airship the uh, aircraft will basically hopefully take on this zone but the Erie is still a problem um, so let's get this one killed and hopefully we can then um, see about finding some way to be more effective against it. Well that worked out in the end, the uh, Grand Fleet did its job, took out the Erie and the Alcazar and apart from one um, episode with uh, the Dorchester running aground, the new control blocks I'm using to control the AI to keep them at range work very well. The frigates kept up close, the cruisers next and then the battleships kept at range. So. Uh, that worked better than just letting the AI do it on their own. Um, it now flicks between fleet move and combat depending on range and uh, situations. Um, so assuming you're, or I have put the fleet position in a good place, 
generally the fleet stays in a, a, a reasonable location so anyway I'm gonna stop it on that one because there's quite a few updates I need to uh, get sorted we've got a few people coming towards us as well that I'll need to um, defend against um, which will be basically resources but we've got some resources to go and hopefully bring in the dreadnought now to mop up these last little um, areas I think this is the last areas oops I think that we're looking at a home base somewhere in the squares up here but I still need something for the airships and the aircraft to fight that damn eerie that is still a uh, rather annoying uh, vessel basically so we will uh, need to sort Moving something out that can take that out um, So, you know, need, need to find something that can take it out reliably um, and go with the forces. So hopefully we will be able to bring in next uh, the Moving now. Dreadnought and finish everything off. And maybe if I build maybe a new, another airship a little bit better specifically for the Eerie and look at what, what makes the Eerie so tough basically and find something specifically to uh, uh, take it out. Anyway, that's it for now. Not as successful as a lot of missions but we got through in the end that's the important bit and lessons have been learnt and now I can apply those lessons into a design which is really I think part of the game in that you try something you see if it works you adapt what has happened and you make it better next time and you know and so on and so forth and you you design things against the enemies you're up against anyway until next time keep playing the game and have fun.